Growing up, I was really lucky because I had a foundation of who God was, who Jesus Christ was. But my view of who God was was kind of one-sided. I saw him as this great, powerful, mighty being, but I didn't know that God was my father, that he would bend down to hear my prayers and to speak with me and to listen to me. But as I grew and got older, like a lot of people do, I think, I started to stray from God. When I graduated from college, I think that's when everything kind of blew up for me. A big part of that was that I had been in a relationship for a very long time, and I thought that that relationship was part of my future, but it was actually a very, it had become a very traumatic relationship. I would find myself going to the chapel at night to pray and I would get down on my knees and I would cry and I would plead with God and ask him why things were happening, why my life was so different than what I thought it was going to be. But the problem was is I wasn't, I wasn't succumbing to the will of God. I was praying to him, I was looking to this powerful, mighty, distant being, but I was looking for him to answer my prayers in the way that I wanted. And eventually I met my now husband. Um, within a few, the first few weeks of us being together, my husband asked me if I wanted to come to CVC. Then as the weeks went on and we kept coming to CVC, I started to really hone in on the message and I realized that my idea of God was wrong. He wasn't just this mighty powerful being off in the distance. He was a father. He was someone I could talk to and most importantly, he was someone that had a bigger picture for my life than I could have for myself. The fact that God sent Jesus to the cross, that he was pierced through his skin and died such a brutal death for our transgressions, for our sins, is unbelievable. Jesus paid the price of my sins and I sin daily, we all sin daily, but Jesus paid that price so that I could spend eternity with my Father in heaven, so that I could have a relationship with him now here on earth. And hearing the gospel and starting to understand it really transformed my life. Um, I would come to services on Sunday and all of a sudden I would hear the message totally differently than I had in the past. And I would read scripture and I would see the words differently and I couldn't get enough of it and I would dive into the Bible and I'd want to know more. And that was the Holy Spirit changing my heart, taking away my heart of stone and making it a heart of flesh. The two words that come to mind when I think about how God has changed me are freedom and peace. I want to get baptized because I want to show my obedience to Christ for all that he has done for me. I want to show the world that I'm not ashamed to be a Christian, that I'm not ashamed to follow Christ. And being immersed in that water symbolizes, yes, the washing away of my sin, but it symbolizes the resurrection of Christ and the resurrection of a new life. I'm being made new through baptism and I want the world to see it and I want my friends and my family and my husband and my daughter to see it and I want to wear that proudly.